Hello, welcome to another edition of Meet the Educator. This is John Prano. I'm here with Ryan Ancona on camera, and we have the distinct pleasure today of meeting with Porter Nichols, who has just celebrated her 85th birthday and is an employee, a teaching assistant in the Middletown School District. Welcome, Porter, and thank you for being our guest. childhood in Fort Edward, New York. It was a beautiful time, no worries. We had 10 months of winter, two months of spring. It was so cold. I remember once getting up to go to school and the snow was above the door. My dad used to have a ice cream candy store and I would help him make Christmas candies. I would watch how he would make the ribbon candy, the candy canes, making his ice cream. I would help him dip chocolates, and I never was deprived of anything. It was such a great time. As I got older, I used to be in the plays and in the musicals that we had. I learned how to do the dances, and that was a nice experience. And then, of course, when it was time to get to be getting married, my mother would hear of some young eligible, and she wanted me to get married. And my dad said, no way, we have to marry her to someone from our part of Greece. My dad wanted to take me to Jamestown, which when I was 21, he and I did go. And we had a wonderful, wonderful time. Everybody was asking my dad, where was he hiding me, not to bring me before? And of course, there were many eligibles there. And then suddenly, Papu came into the picture, and he came with his uncles to Trenton to meet me because he had heard about me from Jamestown. Papu was an eligible who had money, and he had a business, and he had his own home. I actually did have to admit that I loved what I saw. Papu it seemed to be such a nice person. And that evening, we had a nice dinner, and Papu took me in the kitchen, and... Uh, asked me if I would marry him. So of course I said yes, not having even gone out on a date with him. I was very happy to come into such a nice family and I've had been married 35 years. It was a, a wonderful relationship, wonderful three grandchildren. As you know, your dad, Joan and Evan, and, uh, of course, after 35 years, he died. time I come in this building, I'm, I'm in here two or three times a week, mm -hmm. you just seem to uplift everybody by your buoyant personality. You're always smiling and, and, and always happy. And the, the people watching, this is how Porter is all the time. She just, she's just just a wonderful person to, optimistic person uh, to be around.
remember when I was a young girl going to church and I'd see adults around 35 and I'd say, gee, they're old. You know, I had 35 and I used to think they were so old. And now here I'm 85, which is like 50 years more. And I don't feel any different. I, I feel, thank the good Lord that I have my health and I feel good. like teaching so and I'm here I'm going on 86 and I'm still doing it and want to as long as it's possible I don't know what, what else to say and, and everybody is rooting for me to keep on doing it and and this dear friend who takes me to school every day just so I don't get overtired she brings me right to the door and it's so great So you, you told me you're a world-class traveler. Yeah, where are some of the places you've been recently? dream it would be possible. I never dreamed John. It, I always had liked to, but it has really become a reality. I'm so thankful and thrilled and so grateful that uh, I'm able to still do it because so many teachers, so much, you know, so much younger than I, who in June, I keep going to their retirement parties and they'll ask me, and when do you plan to retire, Miss Nichols? And I tell them, I'm too young, even though they're younger than I am and have retired. I tell them that I'm too young and I'm 85 at that time when we talked about it. So I don't plan on retiring. I have no number to say when, whether it be next year or the year after. I'm just going to keep going till I can say I can't do it anymore and I'm not ready to give up yet. <laughs>